Are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to get the first goats of 2022. California State Line. Welcome to California. Yeah, thank you. Goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and this morning I'm just checking on the does. They don't get to be let out today because Derek and I won't be here. Well, girls, we're working on that. It's windy, huh? It's windy. How are you, beautiful? All right, Ray, no jumping. All right. It is still super early. Why are you girls cranky? They're gonna get fed in the pen today, and now they're gonna be really cranky. What? <laughs> it's pretty chilly, isn't it, Lodi? With that wind, huh? Good morning, Cassie. How are you, baby? How are you, Dreamer? How are you? We're getting your food. We're getting it. Oh, what is it, Birdie? You're so hard to film, you little cuties, because you just want to tackle me. <laughs> Girls! <laughs> oh, Ray. <laughs> Where's you running? Lord, I'd be nice to Cassie. How are you, Queen May? Huh? Doing good? You look beautiful. Like normal. They all got their eyes on where Dad is, huh? <laughs> Wildy is growing so nice. She's almost as big as May. Huh? These two, here you are again. Look, Daisy does not want anybody on me. And Dinky's favorite thing is to act like my leg is a scratching post. And she doesn't realize when she gets me on the shin it hurts. Lily likes to be between my legs. Look at the belly! Oh, Daisy. I love you. Here's the two yakety yakers. Ray still has her tongue this morning. But you, Ruger, you're awful quiet. How are you doing, Vogue? Huh? You pretty girl. See, all the older mamas are. <laughs> Mayo. Look, they're like, are we walking towards this gate? Let's go, let's go. So we always let them out down there at that gate. And there they go. Babies. Oh. Lily is getting pretty ornery. Some of you hormonal pragos, man. Cats, you're always sweet. Oh, that wind. What do you think about the wind, Lid Eye? I don't like it. <laughs> if this was a game of follow the leader and I was the leader, you girls would be killing it. Like, get away from mom. <laughs> Daisy. Dreamer. You think you're going to have triplets again this year or maybe even quads? You had triplets last year. Here you go. <laughs> you had triplets last year, but I swear you, I was just hoping you had one. You didn't even really get that big. Ray, it's not making it happen any faster. He's feeding everything else, and then he will come and feed you girls, and you're gonna fall. I know. <laughs> The Dana pup coming back from working. Well, apparently my leg is a scratching post to all of you girls today. 
Tracy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do it again. Do it again. Cutie. Are you playing? <laughs> oh, Ray. You are looking beautiful today, Lily. Ray. Elsa. Oh man, there he is. There's the man. <laughs> they all love this guy. They're like, he's letting us out. Nope. Poor babies. They love to go out and browse. How are you this morning? Cassie's like a magician. She's the smartest goat we got for sure. <laughs> They're all reacting to dad. Oh man. A lot of goats. Oh my gosh, big Montana. <laughs> Lily. Oh, and then they go. <laughs> Lid eye's smart here. She's waiting for it over here. Cammy, can you make sure everybody behaves while we're gone? Please. Can you just be the good girl you always are, okay? Bye, baby. Cassie. You also behave. Don't be trying to break out or nothing, okay? Miss Abilene. You're a good girl. Alright, bye girls. Have a good day, goaties. Dane. <laughs> he always knows when we're gonna leave somehow, don't you? He don't like it. We won't be gone long, big guy. We won't be gone long. Oh, big guy. We promise. Good boy. T first. Come here, girl. There you go. He's a good boy. There you go, Dingo. Half the time he just buries it, but. All right, guys, so we are all loaded up and in the truck down the road, um, and we are headed to California. So if you're wondering what we would be going to California for, well, the story starts back at Nationals in July. If you guys remember, we went to Nationals in Kentucky last year, and we just really met so many amazing breeders that have just outstanding animals. Um, and of course, I would love to incorporate them into my herd. So, um, I did go around and talk, again, talk to a lot of people, and I got on some people's waiting lists. So, I was thinking I would get a call about one of them more close to you know end of February or March um, but turns out this particular breeder who I'm very very fortunate to be getting a goat out of um, he breeds a little bit earlier so again I was not expecting a January call saying hey your kid was actually born um, there is a doe available but I am super excited that he did so we are headed to get the first goats of 2022 and I'm really excited about it
say that's true. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, you guys, we made it to California. We are staying at this really cute little Lazy H Ranch is what it's called. So just little casitas. Uh, it's really clean, really nice. Little restaurant just across the street. We might go check out here in a minute and get some grub and go to bed. <laughs> but um, yeah, so going through California was a little bit different than I had actually expected. Lots of really neat different terrains and... Um, but anyway, really, really excited to uh, be able to meet the baby goats tomorrow. So in the morning when we wake up, we're heading to heading to get the baby goats. Are you excited? Oh, uh, yeah. He is so yeah. excited. He's just been thrilled about this whole trip, by the way. He's, you know, first he was excited about one goat. And then I told him, well, it has to have a friend, so we have to get two. Lucky the same awesome breeder happened to have two of the same age. Uh, born on the same day, and it was just meant to be. So now we're going to have two babies in the morning. That is exciting. And they're only three weeks old, so we'll have bottle babies. It's just been a long day, and I'm really tired. And it's like... <laughs> it's, it's like... It's like yeah, it's not even it's 7 o'clock or something. It's 15 here, so it's 7.15 our time. But it has felt like a really long day. But, yeah. But either way, we are going to go get something to eat. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to turn in for the night. Right now, Blue Cactus Soap is offering a 20% discount on orders over $50. Show your skin some love and head on over to our Etsy shop. Link is in the description below. Morning goat lovers, we just left our little casita and we are headed to get the baby goats. But look at some of the scenery here. Everything is so green. It looks like spring around here. There are so many little orchards and yeah. nurseries. Everything's got citrus growing on it. It is just gorgeous here, you guys. Oaks and pepper trees and you know, all of that. Look at these, just, just a huge nursery. Like the last half hour before we got here last night all looked like this too. Yeah, it's pretty neat. They're definitely growing all kinds of everything. It is cold and cloudy here this morning. It's only 46 degrees. Yikes. Yes. All right, you guys, we have our babies. So we've been driving for about an hour. So I thought I'd stop. We just wanted to stop and check them. And they're a little scared, so I just want to give them a little bit of a bottle. They're not acting real hungry, but... Oh, this one anyway. I believe they might have been just tattooed today. If you can't tell. You want a little more? They're hardy little babies and super friendly. But they're scared, huh? This one here is heaven to Betsy's baby. She's so sweet. We're still like six hours from home. But we'll be okay, huh? What? I know I love you. It's okay. You want a little more? No, I'm going to try to feed her sister, because if you remember, they're half-sisters. They actually have different moms and the same really gorgeous daddy. Let me get your sissy, okay? I know. Oh. Right, and this is peach blossom. Um... Oh, I thought I dropped the bottle. It's just behind me. You want to try? It's so nice. They're actually already trained on the bottle. Here, babies. She seems to be the most nervous. There you go. There you go. It's okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is Peach Blossom's daughter, and she was the one I had the reservation for. So I'm just so lucky to have them both. This is the blue-eyed girl. They really look very similar. One's blue-eyed and one's brown-eyed, but they both have the white tip on the tail. This one has a little bit more white on the top of her head. Are you going to come out? She's coming out to explore. What are you doing? And then this girl who here just has the one white little spot on one of her sides, and then she has a white spot on both sides. So they'll be easy to tell apart. And you can tell, again, that this one is the most, they said she, she just is so sweet and that she loves, loves, loves to be cuddled and hugged. And she's eating really good, so this is a good sign. And the other one, you can tell, is just kind of more into things. She's not as scared. This sweet girl was just kind of sitting behind her when I peeked in at him. Want a little more? You want to let that settle? settle? I'm just getting tattoo ink all over me, but it's okay. It's okay. Ugh. I just can't wait to get them home. Oh. They're so precious. You're okay. I know. It's a big day. I'm really happy to be holding them and hugging them, though. Yes, you want more. Love, love, love that they've already been trained on the bottle. And again, they, they were pulled right from birth, so... Same nipples and everything. They're on the lamb bar, which is that bucket with the nipples all the way around it. So I'm going to hand feed them, bottle feed them from hand for a while, just so they get really used to me. Too hungry. It's amazing what a bottle does for babies. Like they were so scared of me even. And when she came out and I was like, oh it's a bottle. You're you're okay. You're safe. You good? It's okay. I would ride back here with you if I could. I would. I'm so happy. Okay. You stay there. Let me see if your sissy wants another one. You want another chug? It's all right. I've got you. Here you go. Heck yeah. A little bit scary of a ride for them, naturally. But they're hardy animals. They'll do just fine. Right now, she's nothing's wrong. Nobody's shaking. You gonna come out? Don't jump off. All right, guys, let's okay. get you home. Oh, baby. Okay. This is crazy. This is 
this has been going on for 10 miles or so now. This is just another planet. Jeez. Wow. So we just come back a different way on our way to pick up these baby goats. On our way to pick up these baby goats, we headed uh, to the north there through those giant windmills that don't look to be producing any energy today. We'll probably break right any second, hopefully. Oh my God. Do you see that move? Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that right there, but those are, there's two F-18 Hornets, they're the Blue Angels, and they're just treating us to our own private air show down I-8 here. Welcome back to Arizona. Welcome home. Alright, so we're at our second stop. We made it to Yuma, so we're gassing up because here, because it's like $3 cheaper in Arizona than it is in California for gas, but just trying to, it's not technically feeding time. They've only been feeding them three times a day, but it's been a long, scary ride. Yeah. Of course, heaven to Betsy's, heavens to Betsy's daughter came out first. Oh, you're the braver one, huh? You're not gonna try to come out? Come here, baby. I'm so scary for them. So they're three weeks old. You're doing pretty good though, I'm proud of you. Yes. Yeah, oh. They good for now? Let me get your sister. Okay. Stay there, sweetie. All right, here's Peachy's baby. Oh, you gotta eat. There you go. Now she's over here wagging her tail. You feel better. You're a good eater. Do you feel better? <laughs> She's probably wondering why you're so green. Yeah, really doing really good. So the first time we stopped it was just like an hour into the trip and they were huddled, huddled in the back just kind of shivering. They were scared. And then this time when we stopped I look at them. They didn't they didn't look too worried. Definitely looked a lot better. So they're, they're okay. They'll be glad to be home just like me though. Need a break? Yes? Okay. Oh, your belly's full. She chugs really quick. Your belly's pretty full, too. You girls are hearty. I love it. You have been well fed. You want to take it on your own? There? There you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> green faces. What are you doing? Oh, she's perking up. You come over here and see what the camera is. You come over here. It's so much warmer here in Yuma. I wouldn't want to be here in Yuma in the, in the summer, though. <laughs> better? Hi. We're almost there. Not really. Not really. Four hours, three hours, 50 minutes. We're getting there. So it's going to be dark when we get home. So, oh. so when we get there, we'll, there, there I is. am, there I am. <laughs> so when we get there, we'll probably bottle feed them and uh, they probably just spend the night in the truck in this box where, the, you know, it's warm and safe and secure. And, and then in the morning, we got a lot of work to do to get them, uh, to get them an area. Yeah. This is my hair. Yeah. You want one more try? Her hair looks tasty, but it's not. It looks like... Derek loves finding it in his food. 
It's tasty, huh? I have found your hair everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not always a pleasant surprise. <laughs> All right, girls, you ready to get back on the road? Yes. Yeah, what is this place? This is not the quiet little mountain that they are used to. Okay, on the road again. Look who made it home safe and sound. To their new home, huh? Yes. They're doing really, really good. And they couldn't be any cuter. Mm, look how little they are. Okay. Did see. So, I actually left them in this box last night just because it was something they were familiar with. And there was a quite the journey for them. It was about an eight hour drive. So we wanted just to keep them in the box um, overnight. And then we had a few things to do before. So I fed them this morning and then we had a few things to do. So now I'm back for their lunch, for their lunch feeding, huh? We're gonna feed them right now and then we'll get them to their new location. Huh, baby. They're just, I, you guys, they're just, they were really, really well taken care of. I can tell you that. Just, you know, very, very people friendly. It's hard when you get a goat. Um, and they're three weeks old, so it's really hard if you, especially if they hadn't been bottle babies, it would have been so much harder on them too for the transition. Um, and then not knowing how to take a bottle, so they would have went a period of, of not eating, lots, of, especially if it's three weeks old, like this hard nipple compared to their mom's udder really hard to get a three week old on a bottle. Sometimes they'll go like a day and a half or two without eating um, of you continually trying and trying and trying until finally they're so hungry they're like, they latch. So I'm glad, you know, that's stressful on them, not to mention the eight hour drive. Huh. So they're just doing really good and they're stout little girls, so I'm happy. So as I had mentioned, they are half sisters. They have the same dad and two different mamas. They both have just the sweetest personalities. So they were actually on the lamb bar. And one of the cool things too that they were saying, um, the ones that they keep, they continue to bottle feed. Just, it helps bond, because you can put a bucket in there. Um, a, a lamb bar is just a bucket that has nipples all around it and you fill it up with milk and there's a straw from the nipple to the bottom um, of the bucket and then they suck it and it's kind of, it's a feeder. Um, so you can feed multiple babies at the same time. Very, very conveni convenient. We love it, we use it. Um, but if you're only lamb bar feeding, you know, you don't get this holding and the affection and, and all of that, so, oh. <laughs> So um, it's really nice, and they, they were hand bottle feeding these girls, so that's just sweet. I just love them. All right, you guys, so usually it takes me a lot longer to figure out a name. So this here's Heaven, Heavens to Betsy's mama, or baby, and she's got the brown eyes. Um, other than that, these two are very, very similar, other than their eye color. But anyway, um, so we do have a B with Birdie. Um, Birdie and Bessie, so we can't use a B, and we're kind of wanting to stick with the same theme. We don't have an H, so heavens to Bessie, or Betsy, um, we decided an H name for this little girl, so we came up with Honey. We think not only is it an adorable goatee name, but she's just sweet as honey. I just love her. I'm just so in love with these girls, you guys. They're just so sweet. Is she done for a second? Oh, yeah. I 
think she's so there. this here the brown eyed baby okay okay you want to go see alexa oh, sorry emily i have too many kids sorry sorry emily uh, <laughs> um Good so, <laughs> so that is honey the brown eyed baby and this blue eyed gorgeous baby here hi her, her dam's name is actually Peach Blossom, but they call her Peachy. Um, and we don't have a P, so that works out perfect. I thought of a couple different names for this one that would have been super cute. Um, but there were so many pepper trees where in the neighborhood, in the, in the area rather, in California that we picked these girls up um, in a P name. So I, Derek just said pepper and I thought, I love it. Pepper it is. So we have pepper and honey. So the blue-eyed baby here is named Pepper. I just think that's cute. So I'm really excited to have these two girls in the herd because their dams are gorgeous and they have really, really nice, very well attached udders. Um, both of their dams are, you know, they're waiting on their milk stars to actually be on the records. So they're gonna already have, you know, they would be a one milk star, their dams. Their moms will earn their one milk star. They're and then, so these girls could be a two milk star, which is just a two star M. So it's the second generation to earn their milk star is all that means. So as the numbers go up, um, that just means how many generations in a row actually earn their milk star. And on top of that, this family shows, um, they go to lots of shows, which, you know, earns, earns titles in, the, in their pedigrees, you know, obviously. Um, and then they do the linear appraisal, which is awesome. And they also do uh, milk testing. So really, really good stuff there. So when you can get animals, not only that are gorgeous, but animals from a herd where they do all of these things, it just really, really helps their pedigrees. So, and it shows that, you know, they're proven to, to be outstanding dairy goats. I did give them some jump start last night too, which is just, oh, a probiotic. So in stressful situations for babies or anything, it gives them energy and gets uh, microorganisms in their, in their bellies just to help their stomachs keep moving properly, huh? I was not expecting a January call about this reservation. I was thinking it was going to be when we were having babies and, you know, right around the same time, they'd be the same age as mine, but they just breed earlier, huh? And so it was just a very, very pleasant surprise. And then because of it, I had to tell the husband I needed two. So it actually really worked out for me. So I get my baby fix. And I got to add two really awesome outstanding does to the herd. Let's go get you girls moved. What do you say? Do you want to go see your new home? Ears back. <laughs> I think they do. All right. Let's see what you're made of. Stretch out your leggies. Anna, you're not a baby goat. <laughs> she does love baby goats though, huh? All right, let's see these girls unfolded. Oh, they like a little playful. We'll move around, babies. Are you ready, Pepper? Come on. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, look at her. Okay, check it out. <laughs> nice. Let's see, honey. We've got some nice good width. It's all right, sweetie. Oh. Oh, they're wagging their tail so much. So cute. Hey, and check out the A-frame. Oh, you're so little. <laughs> What's going on outside there? Man, you are pretty. Oh, Look. Starting to get a little playful. You guys <laughs> get all of this room all to yourselves. It's just for you. The first babies of the year. He's the fence guy. Yeah, I, I just build stuff. Yep. It's not true, actually, I'm Crystal's manager. 
Yeah, my assistant, which is why you're fixing my fencing. Yeah. <laughs> And driving me to other states I'm just, I'm just to, to keep get babies. The cost down. Uh -huh. As a manager, I do as much as I can myself to keep cost down. Uh huh. Thanks for assisting with that fence, babe. <laughs> that one right there in front's uh, this girl? Pepper? Uh, yeah. And this is honey. Blue eyed pepper, brown eyed honey. And then, if you can see, Honey here doesn't have as much white on the tip of her tail. They both got white spots on both sides. They both have white on the top of their head and they both have white on the tip of their tail. It's adorable. They're almost twins. There we go. Oh, cute. Little hoppins. Go, Emily. Just not too fast. Let's see. All right, honey. Let's see. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah. Go, girls. <laughs> oh, there's not, there's not enough of them. We just don't get it yet. That's okay. Oh, oh. there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we oh. doing? What are we doing? <laughs> I think you're excited, Pepper. I am so in love with you girls. I just love you. You're too cute, okay? Just stop it. I, I take that back. Don't stop, don't stop. See what she does. There you go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh. She's like, I don't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> See if they'll go in the middle. Or, well, you'll have to put her there. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Look at you. Oh, she's running. Look at her. What are oh. you doing? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's too are. fun! They're so fast! Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> oh, look at you, Woo! honey. That, there you go, girls. It's fun. Fastest going I did ever saw. <laughs> What's going on? Going crazy. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Aww. Bouncy you cool. cuties. What? Yeah. What? Sorry. Honey's like, this is so fun, but I don't know. I don't trust it. <laughs> Pepper's under there. See? Yeah. That's your bedding. I mean. <sighs> oh my goodness, the zoomies. The zoomies. Heck yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Get up here? Go for it. On. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. It's okay, honey. <laughs> oh, they had to fight each other. It's all right, baby. It's okay. Cutie. That's a good girl. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. It's like they've switched personalities all of a sudden. Pepper heard what her name was gonna be, and she's like, "All right then." Time to get Peppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just too cute. I told you she won't hurt you. <laughs> You're almost bigger than her. Why would you say these things? Zoomies. <laughs> You're so fast. <laughs> Do 
Nobody's even running you girls. Honey's little stomp is pretty darn cute. Look at her. <laughs> Why? All right, babe, well, you know where to find me, okay? As your manager, I need to remind you it's time to get to work. Uh, if you need any managing, let's just let me know. I'll be right out here in my office. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh I'm taking the day off. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. They went a lot faster than I thought they would. Vroom. She's like, I lost Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> You went right by her. Whoa! That was crazy fast. <laughs> Woo wee! <laughs> they love oh, you girls will sleep really good tonight. <laughs> Man, I should have asked if he had any more of these. What? <laughs> Seems easier buying them than birthing them. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, all the hard work is done. They've been tattooed, disbudded, right? Bouncing, yeah. They're just... <laughs> Perfect age. Right. They're pretty precious newborn too. All right, you guys. So as I had mentioned last week, Alexa and I have been in full force making all of our soaps with uh, Danelle from Weedem and Reap's Milk, and we have made a ton of varieties for you guys. So we have white gold, cucumber mint, aloe. Castile, up here waiting to be cut, we have some more marble, and this is a favorite, cranberry orange. A bestseller, uh, lavender and Brazilian clay. We have more orange pill. This is our rose clay and charcoal, um, charcoal bar. And then this is, of course, honey oat. We have a sage, which is amazing. You guys will learn about that soon. This is our blush, this is our turmeric, and this one is me time. All right, so today for fun soap making, we are gonna do our pink Himalayan salt. Now, pink Himalayan salt, or crystal salt, um, is actually one of the most purest of salts, they say. Um, it also has such a mild exfoliant. It's chock full of beneficial minerals, such as magnesium um, and potassium, and just a really, really great exfoliant, a mild, great exfoliant. Um, and it's also said if you use salt soaps long term, it can help with body odor if that's something somebody suffers from um, and helps with eczema. So great soap. Let's get making it. So in addition to our oils, of course, we are going to have goat milk. We are going to use a very little bit of rose clay. Um, this is very fine uh, pink Himalayan salt. And then this is coarse pink Himalayan salt. All right, so here I have my melted coconut and shea butter, and I'm going to just pour it into my olive oil and castor oil and get those mixed. Now just pour it along the side to help reduce any bubbles. If you just pour it right in the middle, then you might get a lot of bubbles in the oil, which is something you definitely want to avoid in soap making. All right, one of my favorite parts, adding the milk into the oil. So cool. All right, so let's blend our oils and milk. Lovely. All right, so now for our little bit of rose clay. Now, if you guys have seen me before add water to the rose clay and add it that way because it blends in better, um, I don't worry about adding water to it if I don't have my lye in yet. That's only if I already have my lye in so I can get it uh, just mixed in as quickly as possible. So here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I just like such a mild pink, just just like that baby newborn pink color. It's just beautiful. Matches the Himalayan salt. Okay, now we are ready for the live. All right, let's turn this into soap. So same with all the other soaps, if you see the discoloration, so this has not been fully blended, the darker parts and the lighter parts, I'm just trying to get all that color. And I'm not going to do real thick on this one, but just thick enough um, that the salt, when I mix it in, it doesn't sink to the bottom. Alright, so technically right there I could be done. But I need a thicker, I need a little bit thicker trace. If you guys can see that, it barely stays on the top. So it's done, it'll harden and saponify, but I just want a little thicker. <laughs> Just like that. See how that has like a just kind of a light pudding texture? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna pour in this lovely Himalayan salt and I'm gonna stir it just enough to be blended throughout. You don't want it to start dissolving on you. Alright, that should be good. See how quick it's getting thick? Okay, now I need my molds. I'm gonna try to move fast enough that it doesn't get too thick, that it doesn't evenly and beautifully go into the mold. Kind of try to even that out. All right, now for the topping. All right, now for this lovely pink Himalayan coarse salt. Look at how pretty those colors are. Just gets sprinkled right in the middle. Here we go.
Bam. Easy peasy. Honey and Pepper did really, really good in their new pen. They are fitting in well for their first day here on Blue Cactus. Um, and I just could not be more pleased with these two animals. Not only the quality of them, but their personalities. They're super friendly. They're very, very well taken care of. Um, so the herd that we got them from is called CA Blackberry. And again, you guys should check them out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for their website. They are in full force uh, kidding season right now. So they will have kids available if you guys are interested. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye guys.